Today, hundreds of people in Austin gathered to celebrate the life of Martin Luther King Jr. On the steps of the statue erected in his honor on UT's campus, the president of the historically black college, Houston Tillotson University, spoke on Dr. King's lasting legacy of service. I encourage you today to be the one leading the change for Austin, to make a better Texas and a better America. And with every step you take, I challenge you to think of the impact that you want to make. KXAN investigative reporter Kelly Wiley was in the crowd of marchers this morning as they made their way to the Capitol. All this morning, people have been marching throughout downtown Austin to honor Dr. King's legacy. And as they've been walking, we've been asking them, what do you think Dr. King would think of the world today? Well, I think that Dr. King would think of the world today. I would think that um, he'll be very happy with the progress that we made just out here right now, the environment, seeing so many people from different backgrounds coming together for a good cause, truly uh, fighting the good fight. But he also would say that we also still have a long ways to go. And by that meaning that we still are seeing suppression happening in our community. You know, I, sometimes I feel like he would be disappointed, but other times I think that he would celebrate the progress that we have made. Martin Luther King would think that the work that he started is unfinished. I actually think he's very proud of what we have achieved and become after COVID and the Black Lives Matter movement. I think he'd have a lot of concern about the inequity and the injustice, I think, that, that we see today in the world. But I think in the end, he still would have hope and encourage us to, to live with hope. I think he'd still be proud of what we're doing. There's a lot of animosity out there and a lot of strife and hate. And I think he would still look at it though and see the people who are still showing up. When marchers arrived here on the Capitol, they actually played the entirety of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. It was a really powerful moment in the crowd and it's something that they usually don't do. The speaker mentioned because they hadn't gathered together like this on MLK Day in three years, they wanted it to be an extra special moment. In Austin, Kelly Wiley, KXAN News.